Alrighty, so I, I think I've decided this is the final part. I do want to do more edits like of different kinds, but this is the last one of this series, so rip. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to do Rapunzel, but again, I already, I mean, it's not that recent at this point, but like, still sick of looking at 3D Rapunzel right now, at least in terms of like art content. Like I'll watch the movie no problem, because yeah, um, <laughs> that's a good time. I don't have to like work on the movie while I'm watching it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I chose the series instead, just because yeah, I was sick of painting and I wanted to play around with a different style also. Um, so yeah, I chose this picture of uh, Rapunzel and Cass. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, I mean, it's been out for like a long time at this point, so at some point Cassandra gets blue hair. So I wanted to put that on her even though in this scene she didn't actually have blue hair. I just wanted more color choices, I guess. Um, so yeah, and I'm doing Mariposa for this one for no real reason, like, they're not fairies in Rapunzel. <laughs> um, Mariposa's just cute. I don't know. I just thought the outfits would look nice. Um, so yeah. Um, and also Cassandra wears a different outfit with blue hair, so I didn't take any colors from this, like, more proper gown she's wearing. I took colors from this outfit here. Um, so yeah, I put Mariposa's dress on Rapunzel, and I put Willa's dress on Cass. Um, yeah, I I really like Henna's outfit, actually. She's kind of annoying in the movie, but, like, her dress is really cool. I like it. Um, yeah. So, I probably should have started with Rapunzel, <laughs> but, like, whatever. Um, also, I will say, I think this one turned out the best. Uh... Maybe if I was a different person, this would be, like, the last one for the video. But, again, I wanted to do this in order of, like, Barbie movie, so, rip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I really like how this one turned out. Um, it was kind of difficult, because, like, she has the huge, like, veil thing. And so I was like, oh, it's going to be so hard to, like, edit that out. But then I remembered, like, they have wings that are going to be covered. <gasps> but I made the wings translucent, so, like, wait. Did I actually freak this up? Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I, I was thinking the wings would just be like flat, like not translucent, but then I made them kind of translucent. And I really hope the background is fixed by that point, because I don't know, I run on like two brain cells when I draw, so... Oh man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this whole like scarf thing situation wrapping around the bodice is like kind of weird. Um, and again, I kind of changed the details, like, Cass doesn't wear flowers, she's like a moon person, so I put little stars and moons all over it. Um, yeah, I really love this a lot, actually. I think this outfit is one of my favorites. Um, yeah. I was kind of worried about, like, the balance between, like, the dark blue and the really bright blue, but I think it worked out okay. Okay, and this one was really hard because, like, the pose is so difficult, like, I had to give her, like, visible legs and everything. And the skirt is all flowery, and then I have to do, like, the underside, like, the part that she's actually sitting on, and it's like, ah. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So, as usual, just, like, filling in the whole bodice and everything. Just kind of flattened it in there before putting in the details. Um, and with Rapunzel, instead of putting butterflies on the bodice, I put, like, that sun symbol. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I kind of like how, like, Barbie's... Mariposa outfit, it's like bright pink, but then there's like the cool blue. And then with Rapunzel, I do like a cool purple with like the warm, darker color. I don't know, it just kind of looks different, I guess. Um, yeah, I love the colors of Mariposa. Like the outfits are all kind of plain, in my opinion, but like the colors are just like top tier. Uh, so yeah, there's the whole sun thing. I was gonna maybe make them yellow, but then I was like, nah. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have just to like match her hair better. I do not know. And then Pascal, I didn't change at all. He's just chilling there, just vibing, just living his best life. Um, this part was like so difficult. I was like constantly looking back, okay, like where did these swirlies go? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I do make it darker just because this color kind of looks weird. Okay, time for the wings soon, the moment of truth. Did I make them translucent? I can't remember. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. I'm like really proud of it. I mean, I know I made them translucent. Wait, what am I saying? Did I fix the background? That is the question. <laughs> um, yeah. 
other than the background fuckery, I think this looks pretty good. I really like how it turned out. Um, yeah, making it not translucent just felt like too bright, like it's too much, so... Oh man, I can see it in like the little thumbnail. I'm pretty sure I didn't erase the background. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that later <laughs> before I post these pictures anywhere. So yay, y'all get a front row seat into my failures. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I think I'm really proud of this. It's very cute. Um, they look like they're just like little fairies just hanging out. Okay. So I like this one a lot. Okay, so this is the Diamond Castle, and right away, the, like, pattern on her skirt, I was like, magic carpet. Uh, yeah. So, I kind of aimed the colors mostly around that to match, uh, um, except, like, the turquoise parts, and I think I added in turquoise parts into the carpet, just because, like, to tie it all in better, I guess. Um, yeah, and I put, like, the gold, um like, the same color of her jewelry as, like, a waistband. Um, because in the movie of the Diamond Castle, she has a waistband. Oh, also I chose the, uh, not Barbie dress for this one, just because, like, I don't know. For one thing, it matches Jasmine's, like, silhouette better of, like, the top with, like, the sleeves. Um, and also I just like the style of it better. I like the colors of Barbie's dress better, but I like the, the style of, like, the top at least. I don't know. I like Barbie's skirt a lot, but this one I like the top and the top is like the most, I don't know, I feel like it stands out the most. Like if it looks awkward, it's gonna, I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, and then I added like a sheer layer of turquoise over the, over the rest of the skirt because like that's how the doll is. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I kind of made her sleeves a little higher because I realized that the doll and, like, in the movie, like, I was gonna say the Barbie, but it's not Barbie, it's a different character. I think her name's, like, Alexa, uh, played Despacito. Anyway, um, <laughs> but her sleeves are not off the shoulder, they're just, like, straps, which I kind of don't like, actually, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, oh, it's done already? That didn't take long. Okay, um... Yeah, I actually, I really like how this turned out. I struggled with the bodice, like, the corset shape, like, what color to make it, but I think just the purple turned out really well. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Very cool, I think. Okay, next is Mulan. And I did the Three Musketeers for her, because they both fighty ladies with swords. Um, so yeah. Uh, I struggled with this one, because these two dresses have, like, very different silhouettes. Um, so I was, like, struggling with where to put the colors and everything for, like, such a long time. Um... But yeah, I got to a point where it was like, good. So yeah, um, I did kind of, I think I was kind of inconsistent because ev everything is pink on this Barbie, but like the shades of pink, I think I got wrong. Like the, the sleeves and like the chest area is like this hot pink and so is the like top layer of tulle around the waist, but I made them different colors here. So I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I took like that green color of like the very bottom of Mulan's dress and kind of like made it a little more saturated just to kind of like nod to the other outfits because I felt like it wasn't tying in very well with this dress style, uh, just leaving it the same color it was. Um, or maybe it's just because I'm biased towards green. Green's my favorite, so I just wanted more green, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah. I kind of struggled with the arms because like her shirt is so baggy, um, but like I think I got it at some point. Um, but yeah, this was actually like a lot easier than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be super difficult. Like it's just like the coming up with like the colors and everything. Like once that was out of the way, it was fine, I guess. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I just made the skirt like the light green, and then kind of poofed in the- what? That doesn't make any sense. Blocked in the poofy parts. <laughs> um, yeah, pro tip, if you want to make something translucent or like transparent-ish, like make the outline like lighter, it's- it just makes it look so much better. I really like that decision I made. I don't think I did it anywhere else though, <laughs> actually. Um, maybe the red part, the red over skirt, I did do that, I think. But not with the blue, I don't think. Um, so that's a thing. Um, 
yeah. I like how she has, like, this huge sword. Like, in the Three Musketeers, they're, like, tiny, you know, those, like, like fencing swords, right? But I like this one. She's just like, yeah. I, I like Mulan. <laughs> uh, give Barbie a bigger sword, cowards at Mattel. Where are you? I know you're listening. <laughs> so, yeah. Give Barbie a sword, 2021. I mean, 2021 is almost over. Give Barbie a sword in 2022. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, I saw this artist on Tumblr, like, doing, like, Barbie movies based on, uh, like, other public domain works that are, like, more spooky, like Dracula and, like, Jekyll and Hyde and stuff. And I thought that was so cool. Maybe I should do that at some point. I don't want to, like, steal their idea, but, like, if it was, like, just not the same stories, could I get away with it? I don't know. I would definitely, like, credit them if I did a video like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, because I think that would be really fun. Anywho, so, yeah. Oh, and I shrunk the little medallion to make, like, the little gem on her chest, because Mulan doesn't have any little gems. And, yeah, I also edited her lips to be red, because, like, just to match everything better. Um, her face was looking a little washed out, so I added that just to, like, add more color to it. Just kind of balance it all out, I guess. Uh, so yeah. Um, there she is. Yeah, I really like how this turned out. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know if it showed up on screen, but, like, I added this little, like, pattern of, like, little clouds. Like, the stereotypically Chinese clouds. Maybe not stereotypical, like, traditional? I don't know what the right word is. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's the end. Thanks for watching this whole series. It was a fun time. Uh, see y'all next time.